Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the Windows Update Error 80072EE2 you might be receiving when you're trying to run a Windows Update. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. And we are going to start by heading over to the Start menu. And you're going to left click on it. And then you're going to type in Services should be listed right above desktop app on Windows 10 so you want to left click on that so now in the services window you want to go down to the bottom or near the bottom where it says Windows Update right here and you want to right click on it and you want to make sure it's stopped right now it's currently set to manual for me but you want to make sure it's stopped for you you do not want to have it enabled so you want to turn it off by clicking on stop once you're done doing that, what you want to do is head over to File Explorer. So either you can search up File Explorer right here and click on the icon here, type it in on the Start menu, or click on the Taskbar icon right here. So we're going to go on to the File Explorer window, like I said, and then we are going to select our this PC on the left side, and then we want to go underneath the C drive or the system root directory that you're using. Most people should be C or have the drive label of C. So we're going to double click on that. And then once we've done that, what we're going to do is double click on Windows. And then we're going to scroll down until we get to software distribution right here. So double click on that. And then once you've went underneath software distribution, you want to double click on the download folder right here. You want to highlight all these by either holding down the control and A key or highlighting over all of them manually. So I'm just going to do control A to the control and A key on my keyboard at the same time and just hold it down. So now with all of those selected, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to left click on the delete button from this menu. You'll need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder. Left click on continue. So to speed this process up a little bit, click in this little box that says do this for all current items and then left click on continue and then that'll definitely speed up the process a little bit here. So we're basically just cleaning up our Windows Update cache. So we can close out of here, head back to the start menu, type in services again. We're going to go back into services. We're going to go back down to Windows Update near the bottom of this list. Right here. And then we're going to start the service. And now at this point, everything should be good to go. And then right click on it. And then double click on the service. Underneath startup type, you can set it to automatic. Probably would not be a bad idea. And then I'm going to click on apply and OK. And at this point, you should be good to go. So I'm going to close out of this window. And I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.